basically ma aja na story share karna hai rasi orda student ko story orda student le kosari changes ko baare mein usko chira karna hai kosari ma ramro parts ko usko chira karna hai two changes ko baare mein orda kotha karna hai chira sir basically I am going to start with when I was engineering student engineering pori rathe and two time ma we didn't have any resources mala engineering ko note sir kuch nu pare baat dekhi door to big karna pade there are there are no any options. पहले पुलसो गए अंदर से वैसे फोड़ का भी चल किन्हें दे रहा है पहले साझे का पेड़ नोट बना कुछ वाकी साइन के साथ एकदम प्रॉब्लम होता है तो टाइम में हमारा क्या आइडिया लिख गए बंद लेकिन इफ ऑनलाइन थियो बंद लेकिन नो वन पसले बनी दुखा हो गया थियो लाइक इस पॉन्ड तो साझे लोग दे बंद � नोट्स और आलम पागो बने थे कि या वीडियोस और बने थे कि बने थे कि एक एक हमारा इट वुड हैव बीन इजीर बने थे पहले तो बिना मेरे वाला मैन से को पूरा करे वो हैव बीन टॉकिंग सेम थिंग ये पूरा गवर्नमेंट को जीरा सारे वी हैव टू मीट जस्ट और आगे माले एंड देन पाई गो थ्रू मिस्टर सुशील देव बाटर हम चार परसों में बेले माले एंड ही हैड अ वीज़न ये वाला वहाँ को वीज़न किए थे वन लेकिन एटलिस्ट वाले एसएलसी पास परसों ने एकदम थोड़े सा एसएलसी वाला टारगेट करो लेट्स कंबाइन टेक्नोलॉजी विथ एजुकेशन एजुकेशन सांग कंबाइन टेक्नोलॉजी लाइक कंबाइन कर रहे हैं रा वी कैन हैव मोर गुड रिजल्ट्स रामर रिज सामा पनी मास्टर्स को डिग्री सामा पनी ऑनलाइन में पढ़ना सकें सर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी क्रिएट करना सकें सर बने पूरा निश्चित है एंड वी स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन इट शुरू में हमने कोडिंग करने को लगी आउटसोर्स करे को थे वो एंड आफ्टर हैविंग सम ट्रॉबल्स विथ द प्रोग्रामर तो कोर्स जरूर हेरेला करना के लिए � फोटो ऑप्स बॉडी से फंक्शनलिटी वाला बन बॉडी एंड तो ना हमारे साथ लोगों के लिए ज़्यादा पढ़ के स्थिति बनी सके बस ये भी भी दिन ना आई एम सॉरी आमिर उल्लाह निकाल दें जॉब बड़ा एंड आई वी आर सर्चिंग फॉर सम गुड पीपल आई एम सम पैसा बनी थोड़े थी वे थोड़ी पैसा में रैपर काम करने में चाहिए but I'm working full time. You know, I'm a full time camera raja and I can't, and I cannot quit that job. They were a team of Belga Kura, team of Belga Kangor, so they can, I'm ready one way. So I said, Tigris of Gorney, Gorney, sir, we had no other options. Belga Kangor Nathalem, was on a combined by go around 15 to 20 days with the Amsterdam. We were working systems here. So, our Amsterdam system to you, the data input going to lie. Who is some of the data? The data camera, the only key Gorney, it's an acting institute. So, teachers are like it, I'm not proud of teachers are like it, personally. Everyone said, oh, ideas are wrong, but, you know, certain part of my life, I was like, doubt, and I was like, I'm going to go to work, I'm going to go to work, I'm going to go to work, and, I'm going to go to work, I'm going to go to work, then, I'm going to go to work, then, I'm going to go to work, and, 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 I'm going to go to work, के गाने हेल्प करने सब कुछ आप बंदे की मंडर एंड ही इमीडिएटली हैंडल मीटिंग की जस्ट दस अन्य टीचर्स है दिन भाई का ये टीचर्स हैं सम पूरा गारा कंटेंट्स हैं निकाला एंड स्टार्टिंग विथ एसएलसी तो वे लाखों एसएलसी को कंटेंट्स हैं हाले रा रेडी करे रा ते ईयर नहीं अराउंड 2000 3000 इ ये रा सॉर्टेन लेवल ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट बहुत सारे करते हैं आपने दावा पड़ा और इन्वेस्टर्स अलग पड़ा ये रा प्रेशर क्या आता है बंद लेकिन नाउ लेट्स वर्क ऑन ड्रेनिंग हमने शुरू देखी नहीं सोशल लाइफ में आया रहता है जो कंटेंट और टेक्नोलॉजी पहुंच रहा है फ्री में प्रोवाइड करने टीचर � कैन फेडरेशन को वड़ा इनफोटेक में गए रहा बेचन वाले ब्रांड लो प्रॉफिट आते हैं एंड वी थॉट शुरू में क्या लाइक करते हैं ऑलरेडी पैसा आंसर एंड तो पैसा लाइक चार महीने ना चौल्सों हम इस तो तेरे खोर सब बंद थिए ना तो मान से लाइक जो लोग उनसे नहीं वड़ा क्या वड़ा राम रो रेवेन्यू देखने भी थी कहीं हम भी इन्वेस्टर हैं लेकिन वाले ने ठीक से तो नहीं साइंस को वी हैड हम साइंस के मात्र सब्जेक्ट को पाना करते हैं कि ना नहीं जिसमें स्टूडेंट्स हैं एक्सपीरियंस होना पाग होते हैं ना ट अन इन्वेस्टर्स अरे तो साइंस निकाली सब और सब चीज़ अरे बनी निकाला है ये बिजनेस इस वाला टाउन में पैसा आंसर जस्ट ऊपर आकर नहीं आया एंड वी कुड नॉट डिनाइड इन तो र जून बेला में आंधे 
this was the we worked on those subjects ready for it. I mean, 2072 boys are second. Maze Monzale, Monsiju, like Bolaira, Tizia, like Bolaira, Ramro Sanga, Kahandu, Ramro Bank, my inaugurated Gorera, Lons Money Gorem, but you know, 2072 of last year, Kiva, and other. Dustin Vidra, Pugamba, I live, and that earthquakes took us to. I mean, the works on the advanced visa, and we had troubles. You while you have to keep on they can go on and go wherever, Baba, and it's what they ask them. So, Tiza, whatever, just two years ago, Ukamba, we had no workplace. Kangaran's analyzed dog like the Sobs analyzed. We were just around 10 to 15 people. To Dosponazana, the Heribani Pondazana, a Kerma was a Kangaran's own institution and the Hera. Dosbara Tinsa, we just were frustrated. Bokhar revenue model, whatever, launch the Rikos of Japan, our flaw by her. And website the Nepal body user area one. Like zero day one thousand dollars in some quick funds, you know. So you got a ten some is the very ticks are any bar or socks on the app or other office restart the room or a kundin bore them. They can voice like what has already. And bully what a pay scenario was on Mathi fifth or Macam or advertisement or whatever level my sister can buy. That's a giant guy going on the time. After that, we started to come from Bay Goyo and we. And we made some investors. I mean, Noyan Hama Shift Boyo, Ramdari Kamar, Miss Rose Bonara, or Hadi Porte Goyatem. Hacker Bugam, but in Naka one to Gura. Bolo Bolo, I miss a marketing gunner, on food marketing gunner, or on Dawson Ayavaratem. So, bike my petrol down over in the Cuban China. And he takes our social media, maybe one person, one social media, whatever, to Dawson and the Palm, the social media, the Poison Horse of 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 Horse we started other Lazantari in the way going schools or what offers on the Halikova, the school, I didn't know, install Gordino, the Ami school, or Rezaki, but they didn't know we are not selling any contents now. The way the website's all news, after students are left on the news, they can use from home, call for a Jada Rabari, Porna Milza, school now by any corner by any any place. So we started the Gordi, Goyatem, and now I'm busy. Oh yeah, I think the answer is a key one. So, what's your revenue? Timo, keep out of the solid as well. We have no idea. Timo, they are seeing us, they are watching us, and keep on the sun. They put seven for the world as a keyword as a new world selling. And I'm a key one. So, we sold ideas. We sold ideas to our investors. Just let's say around three to four years, I'm at Anna Sognunza, and they are ready to brand themselves. You're a cool as well. They brand to it, got it up. To brand under good, we can do any business. So, अनि और को पार्ट होगा ना तो सोशल एस्पेक्ट तो तो आई एम सो ना इन्वॉल्व होने से मैंने सेरु बाहर रहा है जैसे पैसा कमाऊँ बाहर सा ठीक सा वी आर आई मीन तो अलग नहीं रहा सम इट्स ऑल राइट तो अरे जून काम कर रहे हैं जहाँ कर इज्जत पहन चाहिए जून काम को तो इज्जत हमले लगभग मौ एंडोस त्यो काम को लाइक यार मैं काम कर रहा हूँ वहाँ यारा बेसिकली करंट सिनारियो बात नहीं पड़ता कि वी हैव मोर देन वन लाख यूजर्स आईडी लाइक पर मंथ रा ये यूजर्स आर बट अच्छा ये यूजर्स पाइली दे रहे हैं जा अरे एसएलसी सम्मा हाईस्कूल सम्मा पर्टेंस जेल वाले बारे रा बेस अगर हम देखें प्रैक्टिस � योड़ा प्रैक्टिकल जब गवर्नर ना कौन भाई कर सब जाने गवर्नर पाई कर बहुत कुछ और यूजर्स बहुत है इस दिन प्रतिदिन एंड विद इन दिस ईयर यो यो को फाइनल सम हम आज है हमने एटलिस्ट बैचलर्स को सेवेंटी नोड़ा फैकल्टीज़ और कंप्लीट करने वाले रहा एकदम अग्रेसिव मोड में लाइक रहा सम एंड वी हो just for us, teachers, students, no teacher or student is bound, you know, physical boundary with the novice, you know, digital is down, you know, like it as well. And I still hope that Ramro is all I hope, Ramro can go. And that's all for now, I'll like. And I've been working at KMU for almost a year now. At KMU, I do a lot of business. I look after online marketing, I look after monetization projects, 
sometimes I'm also involved with the center manager team, and sometimes I'm also recruiting. So today I'll be talking to you about what team it is, specifically what our purpose is, and why we decided to start in the club. And also I'll be discussing how KMU has managed to emerge as one of the leaders in the Nepalese economy. So before I dive into my presentation, how many of you have actually heard of KMU? Just raise your hand. How many of you have actually shot from KMU? Okay. Still good. Uh, can someone explain to me what KMU is in simple terms? Anyone? Online shopping. Online shopping. Okay. By the way, whoever engages, you know, there's a prize for it. <laughs> <laughs> Just see me at the end. <coughs> so, anyone? Uh, connects the buyer and seller. Okay, yeah. That's one of our main purpose. So we're like a marketplace. And what's your name, sorry? Ivan Sua. Ivan. So, like Ivan said, we connect buyers and sellers. It's a place where sellers can open up their stores, where they can list their products of the sale. And similarly, it's a place where buyers can just come in, browse, uh, inquire about prices, and make a purchase. So KMU's role in this is just of a facilitator. Um, it connects buyers and sellers at a place, and it allows them to make transactions. So let me explain to you how the process of online shopping actually works in the cloud. So a customer actually places an order. Once an order is placed, uh, we notify our logistics company. The logistic company goes to the seller, picks up the product, and gets it delivered to the buyer. Now upon delivery, uh, he collects cash, and then returns it to the seller. So two key things here is that if KMU, we work on the basis of cash on delivery. So no electronic payments. Just cash. <coughs> the second thing is that uh, at no point in time is KMU's cash actually involved in the in the inventory of the item, right? It's always the seller's product. The seller sells it. The seller gives it to the logistic company of credit, and then he gets cash in return. So just a brief background about KMU. Uh, we're actually backed by Rocket, <coughs> which is a German venture capital company, uh, and we're actually based in 22 other countries. Such as Pakistan, Bangladesh, Kenya, Tanzania. So, here's another question. What is common between all these countries? Yeah. So, they're all developing countries, right? And they're also countries where companies such as Amazon, eBay, Alibaba would not even dare to enter. Because they're very high risk, right? Let's take the case of Nepal. Nepal, I mean, we all know that it's not the most politically stable, right? We, I mean, the economic block is still fresh in our minds. Uh, Infrastructure-wise, we're also not the most developed, right? I mean, severe power shortages definitely can't be good for our e-commerce industry. And the most important thing that we didn't have two years ago in Nepal was we didn't have a mainstream culture of e-commerce, right? Shopping in Nepal, in the context in Nepal, I means going to New York, going to your Yorkermark, going to a mall, and then just buying from the seller. That was shopping. Now that's not the case. So despite all these negatives, uh, there are also some positives about Nepal. First thing is that we have a growing middle class, growing in terms of population, growing in terms of spending power, and also growing in terms of education levels. Also in Kathmandu, uh, we have a very urban city, and consumerism is on the rise, right? And this is evident in all the malls that have popped up over the last decade, right? I think there's a new mall in Tulchok as well, popping mall. And also smartphone users is on the rise. Internet penetration rate is also on the rise. How many of you here actually own a smartphone? Smartphone? I would expect, how many of you actually own a smartphone? Yeah? As expected, right? It doesn't have to be your iPhone 6 Plus. It doesn't have to be a Samsung Galaxy S7. <coughs> smartphone is a smartphone. As long as you have internet, you can shop online, right? 
So based on all these positive factors, Kemu decided to take a gamble in the past. And now, after more than two years, uh, we're an online community of more than 2,000 sellers. And we have more than 50,000 products currently live on our website. So, so let me speak to you, let me tell you how we got to this stage, right? Some of the strategies behind why, <coughs> why we are here. So in my opinion, four key, there were four key things that went very effective for us. First is that we had a very solid business model. Second is that we monetized at the right time. Third is that we put special emphasis on our organic marketing channel. And fourth, we identified strategic partners and we decided to grow with them. So let's go into more detail about my first point, a solid business model. So who knows how KMO actually makes money, how marketplace actually makes money? No idea? Anyone want to have a guess? So you uh, deliver, you deliver the product of vendors and you take certain portion from them. Okay, so so we charge sellers, right? Absolutely right. That's how we make our money. So we charge a small percentage on the sale that a seller makes through our platform. If they make a sale, they will pay. If they don't make a sale, then they don't they don't have to pay. That's the model. And. One of the first and foremost rules of any startup, for any startup, is that you have to add some value to your end user, right? If you're not adding value, why people would not use your product? And if they're not using, then there's no hope of monetizing on that product. So let's analyze the business model of Kimu. So, so you like my friend here said, we charge sellers. So what are set, why would sellers pay for this service? So sellers are actually one of the main beneficiaries of our model. Customers also benefit, but sellers, they benefit more. First, because they only have to pay. Basically, when they sell to KMU, it's like a risk-free transaction, right? They only have to pay us something when they actually make something for us. And obviously, they're going to make more than what they have to pay for us. So it's like profit guarantee. And also the fact that, okay, imagine you have a retail store and you sell nothing for a month. Regardless of what your transactions are, you still have to pay the rent, you still have to pay the utilities. This is not the case at you. So you are covered for your downside risks. Second thing is that you save a lot on your rental costs. Um, so to be a seller on KMU, you don't have to have a shop in you know Tarvarma. you don't have to have a shop in New Road. You can just operate from your home or from your warehouse where rental rates are gonna be much cheaper, right? And you're gonna save much more. So cost effectiveness second. And third is that we offer access to sellers to a very wide customer network. So your customer, your potential customer is basically anyone with a smartphone connected to the internet. Right? So if there was a seller in Kumari Party, before his, seller, his customers would just be based on Dalla Hill, Lagan Hill, that area. But now, if he's selling on Kimu, his customers are all over Kathmandu, all over Pokhara, all over Bhutan. So the possibilities, the benefits for sellers are endless. And that's why we're able to monetize from them. So this brings me on to my second point. You have to choose the right moment to monetize. So your business plan can be solid, right? And you can even know that, okay, you definitely, your business plan has to be solid and you know exactly how you're going to make money. But sometimes it's wise to delay this process of when you start to make money. And to do this, what we realized was we had to create a lot of hype and we had to deliver on this hype very quickly. So basically this came down to how fast we can get the most number of sellers and how fast we can get the most number of products off on our website at the best prices. Because once you have these, customers are going to come to you. And it's also about how fast you get all these customers, and you acquire them and you reacquire them. The thing is, once customers start using platforms, it is even easier to get more sellers, right? Who would go to a mall that is empty, right? Like, customers want to go there, sellers want 
actually set up their software. So once you have customers, it becomes easier to get sellers. Once you have sellers, you get more products, then it's easier to get more customers, and it goes in a spiral. So what did KMU do to set up a spiral? So what we did was basically we worked without charging sellers any fees for one and a half years. So a lot of people were like, whoa, what are you doing? Like, you're not thinking. They got to experience the benefits themselves and really convince, really get convinced that you know, what are the potential of this platform. Now I want to go to my third point. Third point is regarding strengthening your organic channels. So in marketing terminology, there are two types of channels. One is your paid channel and one is your organic channel. Your paid channel will involve things such as Facebook sponsored ads, uh, ads on Google, ads that you see on YouTube videos. They're basically ads uh, that you have to pay money for, right? It's like you pay someone to stand outside this college and waving banner of chemo saying, oh, what you can go to you. Your organic channel on the other side is a free channel. They're basically customers who are coming to you by searching Kimu on Google, customers who are directly typing out URL, or customers who are using our app. And these, the key difference between these two channels is that in paid channel, like I said, it's like someone standing with a banner saying, go to Kimu, go to Kimu. Right? 100 people will see it, probably two will actually go to Kimu. Organic channel, on the other hand, is like, you're not doing anything. People are automatically coming to you. You don't have to do anything. So automatically it becomes more valuable. People, that quality of traffic that comes through organic channels are going to be more engaged in what you have. So one of the key ways in how, which, how we bolstered our organic traffic is by launching an app and by investing a lot uh, in marketing so that people know about this app and they start using it. So does anyone have, want to have a guess why the app might be a game changer for us? Why, why having an application for an e-commerce company might be a game changer? Easy, easy access. Yep, ease of use, definitely. So everyone has a phone. Exactly. Any other? You can send them notifications. Push notifications, exactly. That was actually one of them. So, yes, ease of use, notification, everyone uses smartphone. smartphones. So there's another important thing. Think about load shedding, right? Uh, so something that we noticed was that every now and then when load shedding used to happen, we used to get a massive dip in traffic, right? And this was mainly due to desktop users not being able to access their desktop. Now the thing is, if you have an app, if you have an app, Almost everyone has a smartphone like they said. And smartphones, doesn't matter whether it's load shedding or it's, you know, you have the electricity, it works all the time, as long as you are connected to 3G. So, because of the app, we were able to, you know, have a predictable, stable source of traffic. So, this was one of the benefits of having that. Second, like my friend Dusty Fair said, push notifications. So, how many of you here play Candy Crush? Do you play Candy Crush? Do you? Do you play Candy Crush? So I suppose you have a Candy Crush app on you. Do you have a Candy Crush app? Okay, let's talk about Clash of Clans. Who plays Clash of Clans? Do you have a Clash of Clans app? No. On your phone? No, I don't know you. Okay, suppose you do, right? You play it, so you have it. But he does not play it, so he does not have it. So basically, if someone downloads a game app and keeps it, they keep it because they are going to use the app, right? 
if someone has an app and they don't use it, it basically means they don't know how to uninstall that, right? <laughs> uh, so my point here is that people download your app, people keep your app because they think they see value in it because they're going to use it. And this, the, the users, the, your app users are basically your most loyal customer base, right? And having push notifications means that you have a direct <coughs> access to this pool of most loyal customers. And it's a free channel, right? You don't have to pay anyone. You can send push notifications whenever you want, to whoever you want, you can target. So those are the benefits of having an app. And now I come to my fourth point. Fourth point being that you cannot do everything all by yourself. Um, E-commerce, to become a successful e-commerce company, you need a whole ecosystem of strategic partners. Strategic partners that will go with you all the way and they will grow along with you. So, does anyone want to have a guess who these strategic partners might be that I'm talking about? Seller base. Seller yeah, that's one. So, sellers are actually one of our most important partners. We do, if we don't have sellers, we don't have products, right? So, what are we going to sell? So, they're the most important. And what you have to ensure is that sellers have to grow along with you. So, how we do this is basically we spend a lot of time focusing on our top sellers and also on sellers who are showing early signs of growth. Uh, we give them training sessions, we have individual seller managers who will give them focused attention and really help them grow our business. Um, there have been several success stories of our sellers. One of them is, I think, Dipendra Chaudhary, uh, aka Best Deals. That's the seller name on him. Um, so he was a student when he started out. He started off by selling SD cards on Kimu. After two years, uh, he was a seller who was selling all sorts of electronic accessories. Uh, and through his earnings that he got from Kimu, he also funded his way through college. And now he also has a retail store in New York. So, I mean, that I, he was actually also covered in one of the newspapers. And he's already one of our top sellers. So it's very important to actually grow with sellers because if you have bad sellers and you have bad products, then obviously the customers are not going to come. Okay, can there be any other strategic partners to this business model? Logistics people. Logistics, exactly. Right? Where does the platform provider? Who, who will actually deliver the product? It's, it's going to be the logistics guys. Right? And so like I told you earlier, KMU only works on the basis of cash on delivery at the moment. Just for simplicity and because there are just not enough people who are confident of using their cards. And actually when we started off, there were very few players, very few players. DHL, none of, the, none of these big uh, delivery companies were willing to work on the cash and delivery basis. <coughs> so it was very important that we, whoever, whichever party we find, it was very important that we grow with them. Uh, so in fact, we work so closely with some of the partners that we even design their whole operational uh, processes for them. Uh, for a party, we even uh, pay them higher than market uh, rates, just so that we have another party on board and we diversify our decision. Because one day, like we're doing a certain level of order volumes now, but one day we're, if we are going to grow, then we need logistics support that are able to satisfy that demand, right? Uh, it would be a shame if we didn't have any logistic party. We had the order levels, but we didn't have the logistic party capable of delivering it. So this is why it's very important to work with your partners as well and grow along with them. So those are the four uh, things which I think have been very successful for KMU. Uh, so KMU started off uh, by selling cheap products t-shirts, selfie sticks, uh, LED smartwatches. Uh, I think there's a video on YouTube from five weirdest things you can buy a game. You should definitely check it out. <laughs> uh, but now, after two years, uh, we started selling mobile phones, starting started selling TVs, started selling air coolers. Right? 
And we've also become like a launch pad for every new brand that wants to launch in Nepal. Um, how many of you knew about the Xiaomi launch that happened in Nepal? Yeah. Also recently, we had the OnePlus launch, right? Yeah. And we also have another Italian footwear brand that's currently launching a TV. So we've become like a launch pad of choice for all these big brands that are coming to Nepal. And that is definitely a sign of progress since when we started off, right? In terms of e-commerce as a whole, I mean, we all know that it is already there in the mainstream in the US, in India, in China. So in terms of Nepal, I think it is definitely going to come here as well. It's just a matter of when it will come to mainstream, how fast we can bring it to mainstream. Uh, that's the only question I think that lies in front of us. So yeah, thank you very much. As you are uh, being a very uh, academic uh, part, and, uh, so uh, your notes or your course contents should be accurate, reliable, uh, so and error free. That is why you must have to uh, coordinate with the academicians who are the expert in uh, relevant subject fields. Uh, did you do uh, some kind of that job? Only just talking about you, talking to your teachers only. But sometimes you have designing the many courses, you talk about, you, you will start to develop course content till master's levels. So it must be specific, must be accurate, must be reliable. So. Or what are the, your strategies? <coughs> Thank you. Uh, currently, we are working with more than 40 teachers. And uh, for bachelor's levels and master's levels, we are working with professors and lecturers. So, we are hiring them for best quality. And we think, as far as we know, we think they are going to create good contents.
online site the Pilapan in a Burma, like a Munjak, a community of the city, a community of the area of the region of the site, but the Pona, put a kitchen right, or came by the Bariba or Quantity or whatever. In Nepal, my investment pack in the reputation of the country, online e commerce school, Mazi, a neighbor's origin or Kinos to give kisses to Lago, it's not Camu Kisai, Sunuan. This is given over there. Camu on the other day, Nepal online platform of the Tuni, like Munza, like Tamil, a Torithian, a Camu going to be a second of two years of the Roman, online put over Nepal, Irasa, Irasai, Camu could live a Camu or a certain time may only take top level of Guenta, like the Cascar and the Kyogi, Idea Matrioki, Nida is our own online site Matuina, the university part of the body, and if you are Kurase, Camu is at the university, Egarasa. तपाईंको <laughs> So I think Surum as a going very aggressive, man uh, and uh, that's how we were able to capture a lot of sales. And once we had a lot of sellers, we had a lot of products, uh, we had quite good prices, and he consequently buyers and the IO. And once buyers came, like I told you, it's like a spider that goes around and around. Um, revenue model, like I told you, you know, uh, because of the investment we had, we could sustain um, you know, for a very long time without like, creating any revenues. And again, this is a short term versus long term gain. Short term, uh, you want to start making money or uh, you want to wait um, so that people are really convinced about your system uh, and then only charge. Right? So, I hope that answers your question. <laughs> So, like, delivery is not impossible. Uh, we already have partners uh, who are capable of delivering to all over the world. Uh, it's just a question of cost. Uh, obviously, delivering to Pokhara is going to be more expensive than delivering inside the world. Uh, that is the thing we have to judge. Will people be able to uh, spend this extra cost for delivery? Uh, is it still rational for people to <coughs> pay for delivery and order a good from Kimu in Kathmandu? Uh, or will they rather buy from the local market? Um, outside Bali, say Kia, they have many they say. Their markets are not very well developed. A salmon and cast when Kathmandu are in the Kathmandu are in the world. Like the cost is already very high. So it's the same thing as buying Pokhara or like ordering for a Kimu, paying the delivery cost and then getting it delivered. So you know, that's how we manage. <laughs> There's nothing to manage, uh, it's just you know, if the costs are unreasonable, then we lose that out. Smart school website Negative type of knowledge, you could prevent you related to complaints of parents, teachers, or the next problem to use the focus for the Thank you. First of all, you have to focus on the parents.